Now, this is a really weird case. It has been baffled. I've thought about it for a little while. I've read a few different articles. I've actually looked at the court notes as well. And when you think about it, when you compare what's going on here with every other automaker in Germany, you really do have to start questioning what is going on in Germany. Now, right now, people are saying, right, I've had these email and message sent to me many times that in China, the Chinese government is going to, at some, I don't know, predetermined point, in the very near future, take over Tesla's factories. This is imminent. It's going to happen. People really believe that. But if you look at the reality of what's actually going on, there's more persecution of Tesla in Germany by far than there is in China. So why is that? And what is really going on? Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel. electric viking this is not clickbait genuinely this is a court case which we have to take a serious look at and we have to ask ourselves why is tesla being treated differently to every other automaker currently selling cars in germany and they are being treated differently this court case proves that beyond any doubt if you look at this objectively if you look at this in the sense of not being a fan now if you're a fan of byd there's some real hardcore byd fans getting around right now you're not the right person to be objective about this case. If you're a hardcore fan of Toyota, you're not the right person to be objective about this case. I would suggest you don't watch this video. Watch a different video. Watch something else. Watch something that's going to tell you what you want to believe. Something that's going to tell you that your brand is the best and that's all there is to it. If you want to look at this objectively, I suggest listening to this case. Then you can see something funny is definitely going on in Germany. So what am I talking about? Tesla is being ordered to reimburse an owner of a Tesla vehicle whose vehicle they say had malfunctions when operating the autopilot function within Germany. But the question here is, were they actually malfunctions? Well, no, they weren't. A court in Munich ruled the electric automaker must repay a customer for the Model X she bought many years ago, amounting to 113,000 US dollars or 112,000 euros. The vehicle underwent a technical analysis, don't know who by, court doesn't say by who, which proved that it could not recognize and identify obstacles on the road, especially the narrowing of a road in a construction zone and phantom braking issues. The court said that these issues could lead to a collision and were a massive hazard in highly populated areas, according to Der Spiegel, who first reported the ruling. Now, attorneys for Tesla pushed hard against the ruling, they said that autopilot was not designed for city traffic, and that's clearly stated. But the court ruled drivers should not have to switch the feature on and off manually because it could cause them to become distracted while driving. Now, this is where things get really fishy. The court said that Tesla's essentially advanced cruise control system, which is what it is, that's what autopilot is, shouldn't have to be switched off manually. Now, there is not an automaker on the planet who has cruise control or advanced cruise control or driver assist, fe assist features like this that don't have to be turned off manually, right? All of them have the discretion of the driver to be continued to be used, all of them. But Tesla right now, as far as I can figure out, I've done some Googling on this, is the only company being forced by a court to fully refund an owner because they um, basically don't like the feature. Tesla Autopilot differs from the company's full self-driving suite in many ways. And if you're new to this, then you probably might have jumped to conclusions and said, no, Tesla's saying it's full self-driving. It's not. Autopilot comes standard with the cars and it's simply an advanced cruise control system. Basic Autopilot is included on all Tesla vehicles and it includes traffic-aware cruise control and lane keeping. Well, lots of automakers have these features. Tesla's ones work better than most automakers. In fact, probably better than all automakers. But the point is here. Most automakers have a similar feature in their car, and yes, you do have to switch it off and on manually. Enhanced Autopilot, though, which was just made available in the US once again, about a month ago, includes Navigate on Autopilot, Auto Lane Change, Auto Park, Summon, and Smart Summon. The full self-driving suite includes all previously mentioned features, plus traffic and stop sign control, and will soon feature auto steer on city streets. But let me be clear here, this feature, is autopilot and it's from a several years old Model X as the Tesla Model X, the current model has not yet been sold in Germany, right? 
That means the car has to be a minimum of about one and a half years old. So clearly it's not possible that this Tesla vehicle has enhanced autopilot. Now Tesla's full self-driving beta program is not yet available in Europe. So it's not full self-driving beta yet. It's definitely autopilot. But Tesla does plan to launch it on, well, in Europe later on this year. The reason that Full self-driving has not yet been released in Europe is because Elon said getting road rules in other countries correct is difficult as it is complicated to shift the software to different road rules in different regions. It's quite difficult to do full self-driving in Europe, Elon Musk said earlier this year when Gigafactory Berlin opened. So basically the court is saying it's a distraction for a driver having to push autopilot on and off. Now, just to make it clear here, autopilot is on the turn signal. That's where it is. To push on and off, you press a button there. So I think that would suggest that this court is then saying it's distracting to turn your turn signal on and off because it's exactly the same mechanism. Now, let's be clear. Autopilot clearly states it is not for city streets. It says that, literally. And it's intended only for traffic-aware cruise control and lane-keeping assistance. Now, in my view, the fact that it does a lot more than that is great, but that doesn't mean it should be considered for self-driving. The court here in this instance clearly is considering it full self-driving and therefore treating it in that way legally. Now, the other reason the court is saying that there's a problem with this auto steer, autopilot mechanism in Tesla vehicles is they're saying that the car is not able to correctly identify obstacles on the road. Now, the question I have is, does another automaker have a similar system which can in fact correctly identify objects on the road. And I've done some research on this and I can't find any of them. BMW doesn't have one. Mercedes doesn't have one. Audi doesn't have one. In fact, I don't believe there's an automaker on the planet right now that offers this in a car that you as a consumer can buy. They say they're going to have one, but they don't currently have this on release. So therefore, in reality, every other car with advanced driver assist systems, such as traffic aware cruise control and lane keeping assist systems, should, by virtue of what this court has dictated, be able to turn themselves off and on using their own artificial intelligence. As far as I know, there is not a system in the world right now that is capable of correctly doing that. That means, therefore, everyone in Europe who has bought a car with some similar features to this should, in fact, be entitled to a refund. The question I have is, for you, do you think this is an attack at Tesla? Is this a ta targeted attack at Tesla? Now, I'm sure you've seen my other videos on what's been happening to Tesla in Germany. Some really strange things with the factory, with delays with the factory, with the fact that, you know, the so-called Green Environmental Group, which has been consistently targeting Tesla, is coincidentally funded largely by Volkswagen. That seems strange as well. Like I said at the start of this video, these sorts of things are not currently happening in China. In fact, the court rulings in China around similar areas, and Tesla has had court cases in China, have all been ruled in favor of Tesla. But in Germany, things seem to be going in a different direction. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.